And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of Inhumans. That's right, Inhumans was Friday. I know today technically is whatever day it is. If you're watching this, I think it's Monday. I don't remember, but this is pre-recorded. So, anyway, talk about Inhumans. Um, gotta say, it was an okay episode. It wasn't exactly great. But, um, you know what, I'm starting to think this show is, is not going to make it. I, I, I have a feeling that if it gets a second season, uh, I don't know, I might have a little bit less episodes than it is right now. I mean, it's, to me, it's a 50-50 show. I mean, in this episode, you have, um, Black Bone, Medusa, and, uh, Corrigan and everybody else trying to find Crystal. And eventually find her, and then her new love interest that she finally kissed, you know, they finally get together. And while that's all taken care of and all that lovely dovey stuff, you have Maximus back on the moon. And finally, the, the council and everybody else are starting to like, you know what, this guy has no powers, we should try to take him out. And of course, they get figure out, and they have to bow down, and they, oh, we're sorry for betraying you, my king. The guy has no powers, and yet they, they, they fear him for some weird reason. And everybody who's on his side is, like, attacking their own people. It's, it's getting to a point I'm like, why? Why? Can we at least show us Maximus is starting to get his powers? But nope, not yet. Nothing yet. Oh, uh, but that's basically the gist of the episode. I mean, they have mo I had some funny moments. I laughed in a cool way because there was some funny moment in it. But um, this show to me is starting to become one of those, like if you have a relationship, and you know you like the you like the girl or guy or whoever, and uh, you know you know it's not going anywhere. But you know for some reason you decide I don't know if I should be with that person or in this case watch this show, but you know something draws you back into it and you try to give it another chance. That's what Inhumans is to me right now. It has a moment. There are moments in this show I'm like. Should I keep watching it? I mean, I like I said, I really like Black Boat and I really like Medusa. I like how their characters are. I mean, they, they make those two characters work. For me, personally, they make those two characters work. I, I just don't care about everybody else because Crystal's having a love interest. Yeah, she has cool powers. That's awesome. But she has to go on Earth to fall in love with some human. Like, come on, man. Not even X-Men does that, you know? You know, X-Men, they have mutant powers, and you don't see them fall in love with every human that they meet, or, or in the DC world, the, the meta-humans, the same thing. It's just, like, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know. I feel that this show is just starting to, like, die out for me. Uh, listen, if we get the second season, I promise you I will do another, I'll do, I'll do the review for that, and I'll finish this so I can just finish it. But right now, it's starting to be my least favorite show on TV. The only bright side about this show is that I'm getting Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming back soon. And I can't wait for that. So, um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, this, to me, this show is just has so many problems. It's like, I don't care about these characters because they're not giving me information about them. They're not making me care about them. And then you have a villain who's supposed to be a badass. And he just, he just comes off to me as a whiny little baby. Yeah, I am the king of Adelan. Why? How are you king? How is he king? He has no powers. He, he just made his brother disappear, who has probably the most powerful, he's probably the most powerful inhuman of all time. He made him disappear. He's like, oh, he left? I'm king now. I am, with, I am the king. You do what I say. Go kill him. Yes, my lord. Sure, no problem. We'll go kill him for you. You have no powers, but yeah, we'll follow your lead anyway. And the council is just like, uh, my, my lord... Do we still call you king even though you have no powers and you're just a human? Yes, I am king. I do what I have to do to become king. I let my brother disappear and I took over the, the town. I am king now. Okay. Pointless. It's pointless. At least if you're going to try to be like a copy of Loki. Because it's basically the similar thing between Loki and Thor and Black Bolt and, and Maximus. They're basically the same people if you really look at them. Same similarities. One's trying to be king, the other one's just jealous of him. And, um, yeah, pretty much. But at least when Loki, you know, made Thor disappear, he had a good reason for it. He knew he was a spoiled brat, 
and he made his father see that he was a spoiled brat. He made him send him to Earth to learn his lesson. He took away his power. And that was, was Loki's opportunity to become king and show it to his father, I can be just as good as a king than he can. No, Maximus just like, yeah, I took over the, the throne for five minutes and my brother left. And um, yeah, I'm going to be king now. Everybody's here, so I might as well be king. Crystal could have wiped them out and become the queen. But nope, nothing. But anyway, I'm going to give another shot, see what happens. So leave a comment below, let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.